In this video, we're going to look at slide animations. Slide animations add movement to the different elements of a slide, which can help control how the information is presented, and it adds interest to the slide so that the person viewing the presentation um, will keep his or her attention on the information being presented. Um, first, we're going to look at just basically how to apply a custom animation. So I have a title slide um, that I'll do f animate first. To begin animating an element on the slide, you need to select the element. So you click on the element, you have the gray hash line surrounding the element, that means the element is selected. Over on the task list, Make sure custom animation is selected and it will appear at the bottom of the list if it's not selected. So just select it and then the elements that we can work with um, will show in the window that opens. To start, click Add and a pop up window shows up with all of the different features of custom animation. Um, we normally will work with the entrance ones. That's the one that will show the animation that is used when an element appears on the screen. And if you click on one and make sure the automatic preview box is selected, you'll see that you get a preview of what the animation will look like over on the right hand side in the window of the um, of the slide. So you can click on them and um, you can see what one what each one looks like. I'll pick dissolve in, click OK. And then on the slideshow, if you go slideshow, slideshow or just press F5, once you click on it, the animation shows up. By default, the animation will show up on click, which means to start the animation, you need to click the mouse. If you choose, you can have it start with a previous animation or after the previous animation. So what I'll do in this case is click after previous, start the slideshow again, and you'll see as soon as the transition finishes, the animation will run. For the next slide, we'll look at a slide that has two different elements, a bulleted list and an image. And we'll see how we can apply animation to either of these two elements of the slide. For the bulleted list, if you click on the bulleted list, make sure you have the little red or green handles around it. Click Add from the custom animation list. Um, I will do fly in, and you can see again, you see an example of what it will look like. So I have fly in. It's going to start on click, which means once I run the slideshow for that slide and the slide appears, I have to click the mouse button to get each of the three bullets to show up. I can start it after the previous, which means after the slide is loaded, and you can see the bulleted list starts up automatically by themselves. We can also customize how each individual bullet will show up. First, I'll remove the animated element by selecting it in the list on the right and clicking Remove. And then I will highlight the bullet, click Add. I will click Fly In, click OK. Now, once I click Fly In, I can change the direction. So let's have this come from the right. I'll add another element. This one will be fly in slow for the left bullet. Let's have that fly in from the left. 
And then the third bullet, I'll add an element. We'll have it fly in, just fly in. Click OK and have it fly in from the top. <clears throat> so now if we run the slideshow, I click the first one, it comes in from the right. Click the second one, it comes in slowly from the left. And click for the third one, and it drops down from the top. We also can click on the individual elements and have them start automatically. So for each of them, I'll select it on the list from the list on the right and click after previous. And you'll see this will happen automatically now. The slide will load the first bullet, then the second bullet, then the third bullet will follow one after the other. The slide loads. There's the first one. Here comes the second one. And now the third one drops down from the list. So you see a combination of the different effects, how you want them to start, either on click or with the previous one or after the previous one, or the direction you want it to come from, and the speed can add a bunch of elements to customizing how the information displays. Now for the picture, it works the same way as the bulleted list. Select the picture click add we'll add the boomerang appearance and we'll have that show up for medium speed click OK and I'll run the slideshow and the three lists will show up the first the second and then the third one and now to get the picture in I have to click the left mouse button and the picture flies in